these colorful glassy orb like structures whether they're buttons or just designs are very easy to make so let's let's do that in blender so here i am in a blank scene and i'm going to go shift a mesh uv sphere we use the default value so it's very easy press one to go into front view roll your mouse button up to zoom in a bit press tab to go into edit mode z for wireframe and one to go into vertex selection alt a to deselect everything press b for borders or box select grab the bottom vertices select them x and delete those vertices you press a to select everything and i'm gonna scale this in the z to flatten it out a bit as z flatten it out like this okay let's come over and hold down the middle mouse button and look around pan around press alt a to deselect let's press this central vertex and let's go control plus to expand the selection to there x and delete those vertices press 2 to go into edge selection and shift alt and click right there and we're going to grab that circle we're going to use that let's go shift d to duplicate it and pull it up in a way right there let's press p separate by selection let's press z to go back into solid view and tab to go back into solid view so i now have this portion and this this is a separate object my transform tool or gizmo for this object is down here with the original object so let's go to object set origin and origin of geometry so that it's right in the middle of this let's press tab to go into edit mode a to select and f to add a face okay back into object mode so we'll just leave that there for the time being i'm going to do some work on this thing okay let's put a subdivision surface on this of two so we either come over to the wrench or just go Control two to add two subdivisions and right click shade smooth okay what i want to do next is i want to make a copy of this and bring it a little bit smaller so i'm going to press one to go in the front view and i'm going to go shift d and then without doing anything else i'm going to press s to scale and start pulling in and I can see the outline of it a little bit smaller than my original. And that's good enough uh, right there. So I've got those. This guy I'm going to take, press 1, pull it down till it's somewhere in the middle of, uh, of this, just like that. We're also going to scale this, so just press S and, just, uh, and scale it in, so, just something like that. We need to close these off, so let's go into object mode. Or we're in object mode of this. Let's go into edit mode and shift alt and click on that edge. I'm in edge selection. Choose face, grid fill, and that will close that up. All right. And the underside one is not visible, so let's just go H on that one to hide it. This one, go into edit mode, select that, and do the same thing. So we have a sort of a flattened area. Let's go Alt H to bring this one uh, back. So we've got this piece and this piece and that little guy right there. We need to do one more thing. To make the outer border of this, let's go into edit mode, press three for face selection, shift Alt and click right here to get this whole row of faces. Press shift D and S to copy it. And let's break it out by pressing P, separate by selection. And now we have this right here. Go into edit mode, press 2 for edge selection, shift, alt, and click there. E and S, scale it right in. And let's pull it up. E and S one more time, pull it in till it sort of goes into the body there. Shift, alt, and click right down here. E and S come out a ways. E and come down one more time let's shade smooth and then let's add a few edge loops to tighten this up go back into edit mode let's go control r here click and drag in let's do one here click and drag down let's do one here click and drag down and see if we like that shape 
and I think that's probably okay for the time being what we want to do. All right, let's press one to go into front view, A to select everything, that'll get even that middle piece. And let's zoom in and bring it down to the X axis, or pretty close. Something like that. And we'll press Shift A, Mesh, Plane to bring in a plane S6 to scale it up. And that's pretty much what we need right there. Okay, we'll be making copies of this as well. Now, we've got a plane over here, sphere, sphere one, two, three. I'm going to select all of these right there without the plane. Come back into this view, press M to move to collection, create new collection. I'm going to call this one. Okay, now it's going to be easier to select just this. Okay. Okay, now let's do some like, really quick materials. Really quick materials. Select the outer ring right here. Come down to the materials icon, materials tab, click new. Double click here. I'm going to call this black. I'm going to leave everything else the same. The surface, I'm going to come to the base color and drag it down to a black color. Not all the way down though. And then I'm going to come down to roughness and change that to 0 0.35. And let's click here to go into look dev and we can see deselect. A nice sort of shiny color there. On the plane, select the plane. Click new. I'll call this ground. Or something close to that and leave everything the same but i'm just going to pull this down to uh, about a mid gray color okay i'm selecting the top sphere region there and i'm not going to do anything yet with that i'm going to press h to hide it but the second sphere right there press new I'll call this translucent and under surface switch from the principled bsdf to translucent bsdf and choose a color like green, but pull it down to about midway. So it's a darkish green, just like that. I'm gonna take this and also hide that, press H. Select that small circle in the middle, create new. Call this emission. Change the surface from principle to emission. You may have to scroll up emission. And under strength, I'm going to change this to 100. All right, great. Deselect. I'm going to go Alt H to bring everything else back. All we need now is this one with a material and then a camera and a couple of lights. So for this, I'm going to go into the shading tab with that one selected. Shading tab here. I'm going to press new and then I'm going to maximize this window so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to press control spacebar and this is the way I like to do my glass I'm gonna select the principal BSDF and because I have the node wrangler enabled which is a free add-on for blender it's enabled in the user preferences I'm gonna select this one and just go shift s I can switch it to shader mix shader I'm gonna reselect that and I'm gonna go shift D to duplicate it so I'm gonna need two of these drag this into there so it's going to be like this now because this is glass i'm going to add some glass so shift a to add a new node shader glass pull it up here drag that into there i'm going to change the ior mix of refraction to 1.5 i like to use that leave everything else the same over here we're going to add two shaders in here shift a shader transparent and drag that into the top input shift a shader glossy drag that into the bottom and over here I'm going to change the roughness to 0 0.2 and I'm going to change this to sharp one more thing shift a input Fresnel I'm going to change the IOR next a refraction to 1.5 again I just like to use these values and I'm going to plug that into the fact at the top of the first mix shader. Control spacebar to get back. 
and we are close back to layout and we can see our object here and we can see that we've got just the one there okay now i'm going to bring in a camera i'm just panning around holding down the shift button and the middle mouse button and zooming in here and there or else i'll do that okay bring in a camera shift a camera it's down in there i'm just going to press Control alt zero to look through the camera and then i'll start framing my shot press n to open this panel here go to view lock camera to view and to close that and now my camera stays there and i can just sort of move around like that um i should point out right away that we need to come over here and this is for cycles so switch over to cycles gpu compute if you can i'm going to set my render at 200 for the time being i'm also going to change my size down here to 1000 by 600 and down here under the layer properties scroll all the way to the bottom and check denoising so uh, i think i will move the plane a little bit i can also just s and scale it real 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 big and do that i'm going to be making copies of this in a moment uh, in fact let's do that right now let's press zero to get out of camera view and let's um I'm just going to take this camera and slide it up into that collection there. I'm going to select that and select objects. <clears throat> I've got this first collection selected, which is my glass orb or button. Press 7 to look from the top view. And Shift D to duplicate it, G to drag it or grab it. Pull it to there, but before you deselect, press M, new collection, 2. So it's easier to select that. Okay, Shift D, G, drag it over, M for new collection, three. Okay, let's make some different colors here though, because if I take all of these and press H, they're all green. So just select one here, that green color, come back to the materials. You'll see it was, says translucent. I don't want to just change this one or it will change all of them, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this thing that looks like folders, new material. Okay, I don't care about the name. And I'm going to change that one to blue. And I can leave this right where it is. Click on this one. Press on the folder, new material. Change this one to maybe a, just what would appear to be a yellow color. It doesn't look very yellow. but All right, and deselect Alt-H to bring back the glass. The final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a few point lights. Light, point light. Press 1 to look from the front, G to just drag it up above. And I'm going to switch this to 100, 100 watts. And you can do whatever you want here with the lighting. I'm just going to make it a little bit off-white. Back to top view, Shift D and G, and just drag out maybe three Shift D and G. Just drag them out anywhere and see how it works. Press 0 to go back into camera view and just reframe your shot. Like something like that. All right, you should save your work, so whatever. And then um, we will press F12.